Alrighty guys, so I am really excited because my sister has been over to help me start our um, glider process, transformation process. Um, so my husband's um, co-worker gave him a glider, which was so super nice because gliders can get really expensive. And so the one that he gave him was in really great condition. Um, it just looks a, a little outdated. So, and our nursery is all very modern looking. It's very white, it's very gray. So I just thought, well, let's just give it a makeover. So we are currently transitioning this chair from like a brown oaky color to a cotton white color. And it's definitely coming along. Um, we have, I don't know if you can see that very well. It's definitely, we only have one, one and a half coats on it basically. Um, so it's very, very new still, but she's coming back over tonight to help us finish, um, to help me finish um, painting it a second coat, stronger white. Um, and of course, I know some of you are like, oh, what are you doing? You're pregnant, you shouldn't be painting. Um, I have been taking frequent breaks and I am trying to find, aha, uh -huh, here it is. I use these this mask so while I'm painting this is always on my face I'm never breathing in that paint because that's not good for me or baby so but it's really cool to be down here now to kind of see everything how it is and I just love how it looks so far so I'm just I thought I'd make this video because I know some of you really really like um, furniture transformation videos and so I thought this would be a fun little thing to put out um, and yeah, so we'll see the finished product in a couple of days, and then it'll be all done, and I'm really excited. But the cushions right now, they're green. Those won't be green. Those will be gray, and I don't know if I'm going to cover that um, green up or if I'm going to get brand new cushions. So whatever costs less, I'm thinking covering it up is going to cost less. So we shall see. We shall see. But um, this is basically what it looks like right now. Okay guys, so the last time that I videoed about this was about a month ago actually. Um, and we had been, my sister and I started painting this chair with like, the lighting, sorry, the lighting's really bad. Um, we started painting this chair, I can't get away from it so we just have to deal with it for like a couple minutes. But we started painting this chair with like um, sponges. Not like a sponge paint, <laughs> but like the little stick with like the little sponge on it. I don't know if you know, know what I'm talking about. They're like 99 cents at Michael's or whatever. Um, but we started with like this um, white, like a cream paint. I think it was like a milk paint or maybe, maybe it wasn't. I can't remember what kind of paint it was. But anyway, um, we did one coat and then she came back the next day. We did an another coat and it honestly looked like the, the chair was just like soaking up the paint. And we could see the chair fully through the paint. And this, this at this point, after we saw that, it had been three coats of paint that we had put on. We put two the first night, and then one the second day. And I was like, this is just eating up this paint. Like, there's no point in us doing any more work with this. So, um, I talked to my husband, and we decided we were going to just spray paint it white. Um, so, he did that the other day, actually. And it looks fantastic. The chair looks so good. He only has one coat on it, which you can kind of tell, especially like if you get close to it, like right here, you know, you can tell that it's like, you know, the first coat. But it looks so good and so different. I'm just, I'm so, so pleased with it. Um, but when it gets done, then um, it's gonna have the gray cushions on it and I don't, know exactly if you remember what it looked like at the beginning but it had these cushions i'm gonna go get them one second let's go get them <laughs> okay so it had this color um cushions on it i'm gonna grab the thin one Ooh, there we go looks it looks like this <laughs> super duper old looking um but it's still in really good shape the cushions are it's still in really good shape and they're so comfortable like oh they're really comfortable um but they just look like they're from the 90s so i thought i would just diy this and kind of just um instead of buying new cushions for it and spending like 60 to 100 dollars, then i'm just gonna just do it myself so um we have two cushions here basically this one's the top cushion this one is the bottom this one's the actual seat. Um, but I bought this material from Hobby Lobby. 
Okay, so I talked to the lady at Hobby Lobby and she said this would be the best material that they that they had for it. And it's just literally just gray. I don't know if you can see, but it's very similar to um, like a canvasy type of feel, which is basically exactly how this chair feels already. So I feel pretty comfortable with that and it's pretty thick, but it only cost me $7 for this entire, this is three yards of material, so $7. So that was not that bad at all. And then my mom said she could just sew, sew it on. So I'm just gonna cover the whole thing, pin it down, and she's gonna sew it, and then we're gonna put it on the finished chair. Whenever, and we're gonna have to wait a couple weeks because unfortunately we have to paint the chair and the garage are outside, and it is super cold here, and it's not good and um, to paint the, the, like to paint wood outside, unless it's like 40 degrees or above, so. Unfortunately, we'll have to wait a couple weeks, but I think it's gonna be like 58 one day next week, so might try to do it then. Um, but anyway, after it's all said and done, that's basically going to be it. Um, and then I will be able to show you the finished product. And But I'll just keep kind of showing you the process of how everything's going and um, what we're doing and how we get to the thing, how we get to the finished product. So I'll see you all in the next video and hopefully we'll have a little bit more done. Okay guys, here it is. It's all finished. We did, um, in my opinion, we did a fantastic job of doing this DIY. Now we, I don't mean me at all because I had basically no part in any of it. Um, except for the very beginning, which we messed up, so. <laughs> um, but what we did was we used a white spray paint. My husband spray painted this um, white one coat. He did another white coat, and then he um, he did a top clear coat on it. So you can kind of see everything just kind of looks really, really, really good. Um, and the bottom even looks good. I mean, a rocking chair, when it's built like this and you can't take it really apart, um, in order to get everything sprayed and not stuck together, it's really difficult and he did such a good job. My grandma, actually, we, we bought um, just this gray fabric. You can see the green right here is staying out. This is what it used to look like all over. Um, and we bought this gray fabric from Hobby Lobby and just decided to cover the cushions that were already on the chair um, because the cushions were really really comfortable and the cushions are um, pretty expensive if you go just buy a new set of them um, this is the exact gray color that I wanted and she did a fantastic job um, this is kind of what the bottom of the cushion looks like I'm kind of just show you what she did here but she did a fantastic job of sewing this for us so as you can see, I'm sitting in the nursery right now. The nursery is almost finished, almost completely finished. Um, but we have a little bit of stuff that we still have to hang up in here. Um, but you get to see a little, little sneak peek preview of kind of what our nursery looks like. And I am in love with this bedroom. Every time I walk by it, I'm just like, oh, I wanna see his cute little baby face in all, in all the stuff. There's just baby stuff everywhere in here and it's so perfect so um i will have the nursery tour video out to you guys soon again i apologize that i have not posted videos in a while i did just post my um baby shower video which i've been looking forward to getting that out to you guys but i have so many more i think i have six or seven videos coming out just this month um so you will see multiple videos throughout the weeks to come i finally figured out what the glitch was in my op in my um editing software it was not the editing software itself it was me I was doing something wrong and <sighs> when I found out what I was doing wrong I was like oh my gosh it was just it was one of those mistakes that you're just like how did I make that mistake but anyway it's been fixed so now I'm editing away I've got all these videos recorded and backed up on my phone and I should get them off there so um, I will be getting those videos out to you soon, but I have a whole slew of videos that are coming out. I have a car preparation, baby car preparation, I have a registry show and tell where I get to show you guys all the gifts, um, not all, but most of the gifts that I got at the baby shower. Um, I have a, of course, the nursery tour one, um, this chair, um, chair furniture transformation video that I'm going to show you guys. Um, I also have a 
a third trimester recap video that I'm not going to record yet for another couple of weeks still. Um, obviously I'm in my third trimester now, but pretty soon I will be full term and once I hit full term I will make that video for you guys. That'll be near the end of April, right at, right at the end, it'll be April 29th. Oh, my hospital bags. So. I'm going to get those packed up. I already have Baby Boy's um, hospital bag completely packed. Um, ours I'm still kind of working on. Ours is a little bit harder because we're actually using our stuff and we need our stuff, some stuff until we actually go to the hospital, like our toothbrushes and stuff like that. Um, those haven't been packed yet. So, um, But I believe there's even more than that that I'm just not thinking of right now. Um, so yeah. Hopefully you'll tune into that. I hope that you enjoyed this video and this super duper easy, easy, easy way to literally cover cushions on your glider, spray paint it, and then be done with it. And oh, I forgot to tell you, we did spray some, oh man, I can't remember what that stuff is called. It's like, <laughs> I, can't, I don't know what it's called, but we sprayed it on the chair to to like help with stain resistance and stuff like that. We just spray it on there, let it dry for 24 hours, we spray it on there, just the fronts of the cushions so to better help it with um, being stain resistant. Um, but that's about it you guys and it was so super, it was easy on obviously my part because I didn't have anything to do with it but it for the, all the people that chipped in and helped it was so easy and um, it was so cost effective. Like we didn't spend $165 on the glider, we got the glider for free and we spent about 20 to $25. Um, on fixing it up and just making it look like how we want it to look. So, um, hopefully that you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up for us if you did. And uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. And hit that little bell button beside the subscribe button to help you get notified for more videos like this in the future. Baby Boy will be here very, very soon, I hope. <laughs> um, not too soon, but soon enough. Um, and I will uh, be making more mommy videos after that point. So, and also I will be on a fitness journey to get back into um, good health after he's here. And so I look forward to making videos on meal prepping and exercising um, fitness routines and things like that. So stay tuned because there's a lot of good stuff coming up on my channel. Thanks guys. Bye.